Welcome, this is the installation using an upgrade disk for dual boot Windows 7 on a Mac Air. Uh, you can use 64-bit if you have a late 2010 model Mac Air, otherwise you have to go with 32-bit. Uh, basically we're streaming through here, you're running boot camp, uh, you've selected on boot camp there. Uh, make sure you download the Windows drivers. Um, after that, you're going to select your drive size here, and you need to be 35 gigs-ish or larger. Making sure you got your uh, drive large enough. Um, if you do go too small, the upgrade won't install. Basically, we're going to install Windows via Boot Camp in the normal fashion. Then we're going to go immediately without connecting to the internet and, and use the upgrade to reinstall Windows 7 over itself. And that'll trick the activation key into working, basically. Alright, basically if you've installed Windows before, this isn't very different. Uh, it's going to run through its standard Windows uh, screens. are going to have that little bar at the bottom that will be populated in there as Windows is going through its installs. We're uh, fast forwarding here to try and hurry this along, but uh, it takes a minute. Now when you get to these upcoming screens that we're going to go through, you'll select that you accept Windows terms and conditions like normal. And then you're going to pick uh, the partition. The partition will be labeled Boot Camp. Um, your Mac OS X uh, Boot Camp program made this partition and labeled itself accordingly. Excuse me about saying iOS before, you have to ignore that. Um, now you'll see this come up. The first time you will pick custom. The second time you will pick upgrade. So for this initial one, pick custom. Click on the partition. Um, you'll click advanced and you'll click format. Uh, what that'll do is it will drop the uh, boot camp name off of there and uh, um, it'll change it to an NTFS partition. Um, don't worry if you're not understanding that. Uh, it just basically means that Windows can operate on the hard drive since Mac OS X operates on a different format. Uh, from here, you go ahead and select it, and we're going to fast forward again because this takes quite a long time. It won't be as long as the next round, which will be an upgrade. So you will basically let this go through all its processes. You can walk away and come back. It uh, will restart itself a few times. Um, we're just going to go along with it. When it comes time to do the upgrade, you can never let the, the, the uh, MacBook Air connect to the internet. Don't let it catch any upgrades or um, any kind of uh, patches that'll stop the upgrade system from working. And basically when you drop into Windows here, which we'll see just shortly, uh, you'll immediately go into upgrade and that will allow the activation key to take. All right, your computer's gonna restart multiple times. If you don't pay attention to it, it will restart on its own just fine. It will boot back into Windows and ignore the iOS partition entirely. It'll come back to the screen as it finishes up all its processes. We're just fast forwarding here to get through all this or else it'd be an extremely long video. Alright, Windows is getting ready to start up for its first full time. You go ahead and name your PC here just like you would on any other Windows install. Uh, from there, we'll fast forward a little bit again, but you're going to jump into uh, passwords and it's going to ask you for date and time. Um, also the key. This is very, very important. Do not activate. Do not put a key in. Just click next or else this whole process will fail. Go ahead and click recommended settings. At this point it doesn't matter. Click your time and date. You do not want to have an internet connection during this at all. Do not have an internet connection. You cannot let it update or else that potentially will make it fail as well. Welcome to your Windows install. Right here, let's go. Now that you have your first copy of Windows on, you have to go and upgrade 
Windows. No internet connection again. You'll go ahead and click on the Windows menu there. Go to My Computer. Click on the disk. It won't really be recognized as it normally should because you don't have the drivers installed. Um, go ahead and click Setup. I clicked on the wrong thing there. Click on Setup. Allow it to run and you'll begin the process basically uh, all over again here. Again, I'm going to put this warning in here for anyone. You must click upgrade this time after you click install to get to the screen where you see here where we're fast forwarding. You Again, you must click upgrade the second time through. Allow it to go through all its long processes that Windows usually goes through. Um, again, this one takes longer for whatever reason. Upgrading is longer than the initial installation. Just bear with it. Even though this takes a little while here, it may not seem like it, but we're actually on uh, 20 times fast forward right now. So uh, you can go away for an hour, ignore your computer, um, you can come back to it. It'll run through this whole thing on its own. You don't need to worry about it. Usually I have time to introduce myself at the beginning, but the way I set this one up, I don't. Uh, my name's Crazy Dave. Uh, you can follow me at Twitter at Crazy Dave. You can see all the ending credits. It'll give you links. Um, you can see my new website's at kdtech.org. Again, it's listed at the end. It's up and coming. I'm just working on it. And uh, support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And you can click the like button. And if you really feel like it, click the advertisements that pop up over it. Uh, that helps keep everything I'm doing running, so I appreciate it. Again, we're still watching the standard Windows processes here. Just letting it go, basic upgrade. Okay, we've gone through all the little processes again here, and we have Windows. For the second time, go ahead and after you've gone through it all, without using your activation, you'll go into Windows, go click on your activation and put your key in, start it up, and you should be ready to go. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate your support. <laughs>